Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I am sharing my go-to green smoothie recipe with you. Now, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, this recipe may be familiar to you mm. because I have been making it several times a week now that the weather has warmed up, and I've shared it on my Insta stories before, but I also wanted to make sure to share it here on YouTube for those of you who have not seen this recipe yet. Now, when it comes to eating well or improving our eating habits, I think it's really important that rather than focusing on all the foods we think we need to eliminate from our diets or stop eating, we shift our focus to the abundance of beautiful, delicious, nutritious foods that we get to incorporate in. This makes the wellness journey a whole lot more enjoyable, and when something is enjoyable, it's a lot more sustainable. And green smoothies are a super easy way to do this. Now, to get started, I'm gonna put a big, fat handful of baby spinach into the bottom of the blender. Baby spinach is the perfect dark leafy green for for a beginner green smoothie drinker because it is so mild, it's very tender, it's very sweet, and the flavor is not overpowering, it's not bitter at all. It blends so nicely into a green smoothie. Then I'm adding a half a cup of frozen blueberries. This is gonna add a little bit of natural sweetness, plus the blueberries are packed with antioxidants. And then we've got a couple ingredients that are gonna make this smoothie really light and really refreshing. I've got a quarter cup of fresh mint leaves. It's about 20 leaves of mint. The mint is great for digestion. It is so light, it's so refreshing, and I love the flavor that it adds to this smoothie. And then I'm adding one mini Persian cucumber. Now the Persian cucumbers are the little cucumbers. They don't have any seeds in the middle. I personally like to leave the skin on the cucumber because that's where most of the vitamins and nutrients live. So I recommend that you do not peel the cucumber before getting it into the smoothie. Then I've got half of a small avocado and then one tablespoon of hemp seeds, which could also be flax seeds or even chia seeds. Both of these ingredients are adding a nice dose of omega-3 fatty acids into the smoothie, and these are the good fats, right? These are the fats that we wanna be adding more and more of into our diets. They support our bodies in so many different ways. They support our heart health, they support bone and joint health, they reduce inflammation in the body, plus they are great for your skin and your hair and your nails. Next up, I'm adding one scoop of vanilla protein powder. Now, a lot of you have asked me questions about protein powder in the past, and my general thought process on protein powder is real whole food is always optimal. You always want that to be your first choice. But I do think that protein powder can be a very tasty and very convenient supplement when you're wanting to add more protein into your diet in a really easy way. Just make sure that you're getting a protein powder with an ingredient list that is as minimal as possible. You don't wanna have a ton of ingredients that you cannot say or recognize. And I will be sure to link to a few of my favorites down in the description box below. And then finally, one cup of unsweetened almond milk or really any type of milk you prefer. You could even do water here. Then I'm just gonna pop on the lid and blend this all up. Now I am using a Vitamix, which is a high powered blender, which I love, recommend, and use all the time. But if you have a regular blender, that's gonna work just as well too. You might just have to let it go a little bit longer. Once it's all blended together like this, I like to just pop a few ice cubes in at the end. This makes it really chilled and cold, plus it makes it a little bit richer and thicker. And just for fun, a few extra hemp seeds right over the top just so pretty. Mm. Mm. This is one of my favorite go-to breakfast. Minty, refreshing, delicious. I just love the light, fresh, vanilla, minty flavor and how satisfied I feel after I drink it. And as I mentioned earlier, I find that whenever I start the day with a breakfast that's really nutrient rich and has a lot of vitality like this green smoothie, that I tend to follow that up with more good choices throughout the day. So there is something to be said for starting your day with something green. So as always, I'm super excited to hear what you guys think of this recipe. When you give it a try, make sure you snap a picture and tag me on Instagram and Facebook so I can see all the clean and deliciousness you're whipping up in your very own kitchens. And if you're interested in seeing some more of what we eat around here on a day-to-day -day basis, make sure that you follow along on Instagram because I often kind of vlog on my Instagram stories and it's a little bit more of a peek in the real life of the clean and delicious kitchen. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees and I will see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Mmm, delightful. I find that when I start the day with a meal that's really vibrant and nutrition, like 
boom, boom, eh, mm.